In history, numerous cultures and religions have outlined distinct scenarios for the end of the world, often accompanied by specific dates. Despite the predictions, many of these dates have come and gone without any corresponding events happening. One notable instance was in 2012, when the Mayan calendar indicated humanity's final day. But the prediction of about the end of the world coming from one of the greatest scientists of all times is something to worry about. Let's find out why Newton predicted the end of the world in 2060. Newton was a brilliant scientist who made major contributions to physics, mathematics, and optics. His work has had a profound impact on our understanding of the world and the universe, but people rarely mention that how weird he was. He was so crazy about experimentations that he used to stuck needles in his eyes to see the effect of light on eye after putting needles in it. He did this on several occasions and he reported that he saw strange colors and patterns. He also believed that the number three was a magical number, and he incorporated it into many of his experiments and theories. For example, he believed that the universe was made up of three basic elements, earth, air, and fire. His fervent Christian faith led him to explore the Bible for prophecies, including those concerning the world's end. Within the pages is of one of his notebooks, Newton delved into the book of Daniel captivated by a prophecy that seemed to foretell the world's conclusion. He deciphered the cryptic time, times, and half a time as a span of 1,260 years interpreting this passage as a timeline leading to the apocalypse. Newton's meticulous calculations pointed to the year 800 AD as the genesis of the 1,260 year countdown aligning with the ascension of the Pope to the leadership of the Roman Catholic Church. According to his deduction, the world's ultimate fate loomed on the horizon of 2060. The complete verse of the Bible is he shall speak pompous words against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and shall intend to change the times and the law. Then the saints shall be given into his hand for a time, times, and half a time. This verse is part of a vision that Daniel had of the end times. In the vision, Daniel sees a beast that rises up out of the sea. This beast is symbol of the Antichrist, who will be a powerful ruler and will persecute Christians. The exact meaning of the phrase time, times, and half a time is debated by scholars. Some believe that it refers to a literal period of three and a half years. Others believe that it refers to a symbolic period of time, such as 360 days or 3,600 years. Regardless of the exact meaning, the praise is meant to convey a sense of urgency and anticipation. Drawing from Newton's Protestant interpretation of the Bible and subsequent unfolding events, he engaged in an endeavor to anticipate this outcome. Among his various efforts, one instance is noticeable. He jotted down references to the year 2060 on a letter slip, an adjacent note to legitimate mathematical calculations that didn't pertain to apocalyptic scenarios. Take a moment to absorb the words, he wrote, displayed on the screen. Newton had faith in the apocalyptic scenarios depicted in the Bible, envisioning a final clash known as Armageddon involving Gog and Magog. Newton likely bore responsibility for discussing the ascent of the little horn of the he-goat and carelessly leaving behind his notes. However, it's essential to recognize that his intention wasn't to forecast the world's termination in 2060, rather, he seemed to foresee the conclusion of a specific epoch. He wrote in one of his prediction, which he did not want to be seen. This I mention not to assert when the time of the end shall be, but to put a stop to the rash conjectures of fanciful men who are frequently predicting the time of the end, and by doing so, bring the sacred prophecies into discredit as often as their predictions fail. Christ comes as a thief 
in the night, and it is not for us to know the times and seasons which God hath put into his own breast. Newton's prediction was not without its critics. Some people argued that he had misinterpreted the prophecy in the book of Daniel. Others said that the end of the world could not be predicted because it was in God's hands. Despite the criticism, Newton's prediction has continued to fascinate people for centuries. Some people believe that the prediction is genuine, while others believe that it is just a coincidence. Subscribe to Truth Revealed to stay intrigued and informed.